In this session, we're going to talk about how to get WordPress running locally on your Mac. Now, I know I'm not Topher, but he's not a Mac guy, and I am. So I'm going to take you through the steps to get WordPress running locally on your own machine if you're using a Mac. There are a number of advantages to doing this. You can develop locally. It's totally secure. You don't have to have an internet connection to continue working on your site. And once you're done, you can upload it to a live server. We don't tend to recommend this approach for all developers. It's usually better to have somewhere on the internet that you can actually work and develop your site. But in a pinch, this is great. And honestly, if you're just learning WordPress, this is a great way to go as well, simply because you can make as many sites as you want, trash them, work on them, fix them, and when you're finally ready, upload it to your site. Well, the link is at map.info and we want to get just the regular version. There is a MAMP Pro available, but we really don't need that for what we want to do. So go ahead and click Download and Save. Once that's downloaded, uncompress it like you would any other Mac software. Once you've uncompressed it, double click on the package and work your way through all of the installation options. Continue, Agree, Install, and install. Put in your password and you'll be good to go to install MAMP. Once MAMP is installed, go ahead and run it. And when it starts up, it immediately starts an Apache server and a MySQL server. And both of these are what makes WordPress go on your own machine. In fact, for any given installation of WordPress, it's usually on an Apache server with MySQL and PHP. And that's why it's called MAMP, Mac, Apache, MySQL and PHP. Click on Open Start Page and it'll bring up your default browser to the localhost page. Notice the address is localhost colon 8888 slash MAMP. We have access to our MySQL databases through phpMyAdmin. The username is root and the password is root. Now again, this is one of the reasons why we don't recommend developing on a local machine because when you send this up to a live server you definitely don't want to use root and root as your default username and password for your databases. But for now go ahead and click on phpMyAdmin and we'll create a new database. You can call that anything you want and all you need to do is create the database and you're done with this particular screen. Before you continue, there's just one little thing that you might want to fix. Go back to Preferences and click on Apache. Now this will be something different. I always use my sites directory on my computer for all of my websites. That's just how I work. You don't have to do that, but this needs to be in a folder that you can find readily. So I always choose just my sites directory and that will update that. I'll click OK. It's going to restart my servers and now MAMP has access to everything that's in my site directory. From here it's pretty easy. I'm going to download WordPress save it WordPress is not very big at all. It's done already. And then I'm going to move that file from my downloads folder into my sites directory. And I'm going to decompress it. Now you'll notice it's called WordPress and there are the files. All I need to do now is go to my start page, get rid of the word MAMP, type in WordPress, with a slash and now it's going to begin my installation. Click create configuration file. We just need the database name, username, password, host. Let's go. Database name is WordPress. It's going to fill that in for me. The username is root. As I mentioned earlier, the password is root. The database host is localhost and it's almost always localhost even on a live server. Table prefix, something you might want to change. I'm going to leave it as the default for now. Click Submit, run the install, give it a title, check 
change the username, give it a password. Now you'll notice that WordPress is telling me this is a medium password. Even on a local host machine, it's not a bad idea to keep your password strong. I'll put in a I'm going to turn this privacy setting off because this is a local machine and I really don't want anybody searching for it. Click install WordPress and I'm done. And here's my site. And that's how easy it is to run WordPress on a Mac.